Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, excuse the light, I'm using the only light I have. It's the window. And uh, yeah, I'm still in a hotel room. I'll be in another hotel room for a few days as uh, we are on our way back from Nova Scotia, but it looks like my nephew can't give my sister a ride uh, until next week and she doesn't have enough insulin. Uh, with her she brought too much of one and not enough of another so she's got to get home before then so I'm just gonna drive her straight through so yeah lots of driving for me so <laughs> we're on our way but uh, yeah there was another controversy come out today with Carnival Cruise Line John Hill talked about it and uh, some people have asked me to ask what's my opinion do you think Carnival is actually doing this So John Heald had been asked a, about a post on Facebook and uh, about people are accusing Carnival Cruise Line of using the gratuities, the money that we pay. Now, the Carnival did raise gratuity, gratuities recently to $16 a person, and they're saying they are using that money to pay the cruise ship employees instead of paying them a salary. And uh, they say people have talked to crew members and crew members have said that, that they don't receive a salary, it's the tips. And, and so John Heald says, look, this Facebook post on this page is one of those ones that just talk about stuff and make things up. And no matter how much you talk to them or try and reason with them, uh, they, they just, spout rhetoric and he says uh, so much so that I've had to ban them from the page and look let him just he says let me just say right out categorically this is false and untrue it is a complete fabrication and some people believe John and some people were still questioning it saying well why do, you know you know uh, how come if I talk to an employee they would say that they don't get in Look, I've talked to many employees. I haven't been on Carnival in a while. The last one I was supposed to go on was canceled, but I've been on Carnival lines like Holland America and I've been on Princess and I've talked to crew members and they're getting a salary plus a gratuity split uh, from the gratuities that people leave. So yes, uh, that money is there plus tips that are collected for say your stateroom attendant. But other places like bartenders and your wait staff and guys like that, they're getting a split of the gratuities that you leave. So that $16 will be divided up amongst certain crew members that would you know, be responsible for things in your crews. And so I, I've talked to that and do I think Carnival is not splitting that gratuity. No, I absolutely don't. I do not think any of the cruise lines are not splitting out the gratuities. Now, I do think they use gratuities in lieu of raising salaries. Absolutely, I, I do believe that. That's why it goes up every once in a while, dollar, dollar fifty. That's more money to the cruise to the cruise crew, but they don't have to add it to the base fare. Now there is a complete easy way to get around this completely. And that would be to just charge the gratuities directly to the room as part of the cruise fare and just have it included all in one. Here's the problem. It's not just one person who gets that money. It's a variety of people. So they would have to divide it up in such a way that it's like a certain amount of money. And if you're in a suite, it's more people involved, etc. Not only that, um, it would be a good thing in a way for, you know, people canceling paying their gratuities. You know how some people will go down and say, just cancel them outright. And then they leave their stateroom attendant $50 and say, there, I've tipped, I've tipped. Except, great, that's great for the stateroom attendant. But all the other people who rely on those gratuities just got missed out because somebody removed the gratuities. And if you, 
you know, cruise lines, they're not, they're not, they're very self-conscious of the bottom line as far as what they can tell people you can cruise for. Now, if they start including gratuities and specialty dining and, uh, and you know, uh, all drink packages and everything, all in the base fare, well, your cruise rate is going to go way up here. And people are not are going to say, oh, well, uh, now it's too expensive. But as it is now, you have your fare, you get on the cruise ship, and then when it, at the end, you get a bill at the end for your gratuities. And people are expecting it. So there, most people just let it go through and pay it. And it's not so much an issue. Also, when you do that, I, uh, people also leave tips besides that for people. Tips for people in... Uh, serving them, entertainers, sometimes the wait staff, your restaurant staff, etc. But yeah, to actually think that the cruise lines could get away with not paying a salary and using the gratuities you pay to pay them. Well, first of all, you're paying $16 for the a day. Do you think that crew member is working for $16 a day? Because that's what they're saying. They're saying you're using that $16 to pay their salary. So that crew member is only working that 12 hour, 13, 14, 15, 16 hour shift for $16? I don't think so. I don't think a single person is working for that kind of money. In fact, when I talk to a lot of the people, including stateroom attendants, wait staff and everything, you know, they can get promoted as well as they make more money than a lot of the places that they can possibly work at back home. A lot more money. And it's definitely higher than $16. So for anyone to spout out that the cruise lines are only paying the crew members the gratuities that we pay really isn't thinking too, too much. Really isn't thinking straight. Because no single person would work for that amount of money on a cruise ship. Hey, I'm going to be away from my family for six to eight months at a time. I'm going to work long hours, long shifts, and I'm going to do it for $16 worth of gratuities. No, no. They're going to do it for a salary that they sign up for, plus a share of gratuities and possible tips from folks like you and I who are cruising, who appreciate people who go above and beyond and do a little bit extra in their service. So yeah, I'm all I, I I'm all on John Heal's side on this. Um, you know, I think I think cruise lines do use it to subsidize salaries, absolutely. But to say that they're actually using it completely to pay the salaries and not really paying them themselves. Yeah, I agree with John. That's uh, unfounded and a complete fabrication. And quite, if you just think about the the addition, the money of it, the calculations, it's kind of ridiculous. It's absolutely kind of ridiculous to say that. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want we'll to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.